Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the very first video of 2024. Let's make it a good one. And we're gonna start with the very first video of the year, and that is the most anticipated manga releases for the month of January. The first manga that we're going to talk about is A Cat From Our World and the Forgotten Witch, Volume 1. This is being published by Seven Seas, and it is a story written and drawn by Hiro Kashiwaba. In her youth, Jean was a powerful witch who vanquished the evil demon king and saved the world. But over time, the people she rescued have forgotten her. Now, she is a lonely old woman living in a secluded forest, until she accidentally summons a cat from Earth to her home. Home. The former city kitty is now gigantic and must acclimate to this new world. Can a cat from another world soothe the loneliness of this forgotten witch? This is essentially Clifford the Big Red Dog, but with a cat, and I'm here for it. I'm actually really excited to check this out. It looks wholesome. The art looks sweet. I want to see the interaction between the witch and all the magical spells and all that fun stuff, and this playful kitten oversized in another world. It's the right type of isekai to be reading. Marriage Toxin Volume 1. This is a Shonen Jump release from Viz Media, and it is a story by Joe Miyaku and art by Mizuki Yoda. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Poison Master Hikaru Gero is taking on his toughest assignment yet. Getting married, of course. Gero couldn't be more clueless when it comes to the art of dating. But thankfully, marriage swindler Mei Kinosaki knows everything there is to know about love. Together, this unlikely pair will do whatever it takes to get Gero hitched, even if they have to take on the entire criminal underworld in the process. As a deadly assassin for the Poison Clan, Ghetto swears he'll never settle down, that is, until the family orders his sister to produce the Poison Clan's next heir. Refusing to let his sister abandon her chance at true love with her girlfriend, Ghetto desperately turns to marriage swindler Mei Kinosaki for relationship advice. Can Kinosaki turn this strained killer into a charming husband-to-be? So this sounds pretty fun, kind of a combination of a rom-com with more action-oriented drama. Looking forward to checking this out as well. You can actually read this on the Manga Plus website to see if you like it, and if you do, maybe pick up the physical edition while you're at it. Pokemon Adventures Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Volume 1. This is a Viz Media release with a story written by Hidenori Kusaka and art by Satoshi Yamamoto. Sapphire and Emerald need Ruby's help to stop a crisis of planetary proportions, a meteor hurtling towards their home. While training with Sapphire and their friend Steven, Emerald is attacked by a mystery Pokemon. Meanwhile, Ruby journeys to the Sky Pillar to earn the trust of Xenia, the lore keeper of the reclusive Draconoid tribe. Can the three Hoenn Pokedex holders stop a crisis of epic magnitude? I know a lot of people are excited for this, myself included. This is actually one of my favorite series. I love collecting the Pokemon Adventures manga. I am a huge fan of the franchise, and I really enjoyed Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when they came out. I have vivid memories of getting that for the 3DS, and I can't believe it's already been 10 years since that release. Wow, I'm old. But regardless, this is really cool. If you're a fan of the series, I do recommend getting this. This continues the Adventures line, and I'm pretty sure after this is released, we're gonna get that announcement of Sun and Moon coming soon as part of the Adventures brand, so looking forward to that as well. The White Mage Doesn't Want to Raise the Hero's Level, Volume 1. This is a Seven Seas release with story and art by Kirie. And I know what you're thinking, the size difference between these two characters is pretty funny. All joking aside, I know, I know, this one is a little risque compared to all the anticipated bonga that I typically cover, but it's a light month and I kind of wanted to spice things up and add a little bit more variety, even if it includes a little etchiness here and there. So this one stars Irie Izumi, who has been summoned to another world to fulfill his heroic destiny. He quickly meets and forms a party with level 20 white mage Shina, who falls in love with him at first sight. When Irie succeeds in his quest, he will be transported home, but Shina isn't about to let her lord hero get away so easily. What's a girl to do except dress so lewdly that even a great hero of destiny can't pay attention to the battles before him and can't level up? So honestly, that description sends a lot of red flags on his part and her part as well. This is an etchy comedy magical series. It doesn't last too long, if memory serves me right. It has already finished publishing in Japan as of last year, so it's not going to be too much of a commitment on your shelf if you're inclined to pick up a series like this. 
Tokyo These Days Hardcover Edition. This is from the legendary Taiyo Matsumoto and it is a Viz Media release. This is sort of a meta inspired manga and it tells the story of a Kazuo Shiozawa who suddenly quits after 30 years as a manga editor. Although he feels early retirement is the only way to atone for his failures as an editor, the manga world isn't done with him. On his last day as an editor, Shiozawa takes a train he's written hundreds of times before to impart some last advice to a manga creator whose work he used to edit. Sometime after, he is drawn to return to a bookshop at the request of a junior editor who wants Shiozawa's help dealing with an incorrigible manga creator who refuses to work with any editor but him. For this manga editor, Tokyo these days is full of memory and is cocooned in the inescapable bonds between manga creators, their editors, art, and life itself. So like I mentioned, this is a pretty meta release, but I would expect no less from a master of the craft such as Taiyo Matsumoto. I am highly anticipating this release, and it's safe to say this will be the highlight for a lot of collectors out there. Looking forward to seeing this on many halls in the month of January. Love a Kitten and a Salty Dog. This is a boys love series from Seven Seas with story and art by Nenko Nen. Okura is a tough veterinarian who works at Kinako Animal Hospital right near the entertainment district. One day, a kind and earnest college student named Momo brings in a tiny kitten he found on the streets, and the two men grow closer as Okura helps Momo learn about cat parenthood. It isn't long until their conversations turn from pet care to their experiences with romance as Okura finds himself wanting to get to know Momo better. Will their relationship grow into something more with a kiss? So this sounds like a pretty standard romantic series. I like the whole twist here with the animals and cats and dogs and all that stuff, so it should be a fun release for anyone collecting BL series. King in Limbo, Omnibus Edition, Volume 1. This is a Kodansha release with story and art by Ai Tanaka. Eight years have passed since the sickness known as the sleep ended millions of lives. Now, after a dangerous procedure that involves diving into patients' memories has ended the pandemic, Petty Officer Adam Garfield wakes up in a hospital to find an IED has taken one of his legs. But Adam's plan to retire from the U.S. Navy service and cash in his pension to goof around with his young younger siblings is shattered when he receives a secret word that the sleeping sickness has returned, and it's his job to coax back the mysterious man who helped cure it the first time, a man known by the code name King. This sounds super interesting, not gonna lie. The idea of mixing pandemics and sicknesses that the world isn't ready for maybe hits a little too close to home in some areas, but hey, you take inspiration from real life to create some cool stories, and this looks to be the case. Ai Tanaka is drawing some interesting characters here, so hopefully everybody's excited to pick this up because I think it's gonna be one of those top releases for the month of January. Gachakuta, Volume 1. This is another release from Kodansha with story and art by K. Urana. Rudo lives in the slums of a floating town where the poor scrape by under the shadow of the rich who live a sumptuous life, simply casting their garbage off the side into the abyss. Then one day, he's falsely accused of murder and his wrongful conviction leads to an unimaginable punishment, exile of the edge with the rest of the trash. Down on the surface, the cast of waste of humanity has bred vicious monsters, and if Rudo wants to have any hope of discovering the truth and seeking vengeance against those who cast him into hell, he will have to master a new power and join a group known as the Cleaners, who battle the hulking trash beast of the pit. If I am remembering correctly, this mangaka worked under Atsushi Okubo on Fire Force, so you definitely see some of that crazy influence there with the character designs and the nature of the story. A lot of people are excited for this. This is one of those top shonen battle books that a lot of folks were interested in in the year 2023, and now they are super excited to own the physical edition of it. So be on the lookout for that if you like darker stories with an action-oriented twist. 
Steel of the Celestial Shadows Volume 1. This is a Viz Media release with story and art by Daruma Matsura. In early 19th century Japan, a down and out samurai named Ryodo Konosuke struggles through his hard scrabble life. His dear departed mother's last hope was for him to live his life as a splendid warrior, but a cruel curse repels and distorts any metal that gets near him. Will he ever be able to wield a sword, much less live the life of an honorable samurai? It is said that a samurai's spirit rests in their sword, but Ryudo can't even pick one up. Destitute and hopeless, he decides to end it all. But when a beautiful and mysterious woman saves his life and his soul, it is the beginning of Ryudo's journey into a strange world of magic that exists a step away from his own. This happens to be my most anticipated book of the month. I love the plot. I love the art from this manga and the contrast between the beautiful looking cover and the gorgeous artwork inside mixed with the sort of cartoonish character designs at times. It's a nice contrast and I'm really looking forward to picking this up and reading it for the very first time. Can't wait. Higurashi When They Cry Meguri Volume 1. This is a Yen Press release with story by Ryukishi07 and art by Tomato Akase or Tomato. June 1983 has passed. At long last, through many trials and tribulations, Rika and her friends have finally escaped the tragedy. The game board has been cleared, the pieces scattered, and so all that remains is the rest of her life. Or so Rika believes until she gets pulled into yet another fragment. Will the sequel to Higurashi go unravel? its mysteries or leave even more questions behind. So we finally have the sequel to Go with Meguri, part of the Higurashi When They Cry franchise that is still ongoing and had an anime adaptation recently with Go, revealing that it was still part of the original timeline, just continuing that endless loop these characters are involved in. So expect more horrific violence mixed with cute anime girls and just spooky paranoia in the towns that they're living in. Bride of the Barrier Master Volume 1. This is another Yen Press release, story by Kureha and art by Orayaka and Bodax. 18-year-old Hana, born to a branch family of a clan of guardians, has always been stuck in the shadow of her more capable, beautiful, and popular twin sister. When a strong power awakens within Hana, she chooses to hide it so she can continue living a quiet life out of the spotlight. But that ideal lifestyle begins to slip out of reach when Saku Ichi Ichinomiya takes over as the new head of the Ichinomiya clan and sets out to find a bride strong enough to stand by his side. A lot of people are anticipating this release. This manga is based on the light novel of the same name and it sounds pretty interesting. I checked out the art and it looks really cool too. So hopefully you guys are excited to check Bride of the Barrier Master out. Continuing the Yen Press hype train, here we have Witch Life in a Micro Room, Volume 1, Story and Art by Akitaka. Maje and Lilika, I hope I pronounced those names correctly, are fledgling C-rank witches who can only afford to share a measly 99 square foot apartment in the big city. They scrape by doing bottom of the barrel jobs and eating just cabbage for dinner. But the two girls are serious about improving their lives so that they can get a pet, buy a bunch of grimoires, and eat some meat. All they need is some elbow grease. This sounds super funny and heartwarming at the same time pretty silly. I like that it's just witches mixed with slice of life and comedy aspects of manga. It's a winning combination I would like to think. I kind of want to check this out. I like the whole idea of them just trying to earn money to live better while still maintaining their statuses as witches. Modern Dungeon Capture, starting with Broken Skills, Volume 1. This is a Seven Seas release, story by Yuki Kimikawa and art by Sturkey. Is this another world? No, it's modern day Japan. Four years have passed since dungeons suddenly appeared all over the world, sparking conflict over the resources hidden within. Then one fateful day, a financial securities salary man named Mizuki, who was relegated to an office branch in the countryside, arrives at his new workplace to find 
find it transformed into one of those very dungeons. Entering to search for anyone who might be stuck inside, Mizuki realizes the dungeon is straight out of a video game. During his search, he comes across a fairy, and using his new mysterious skill book, saves her from being roasted alive by goblins. The former wage slave's adventure begins now, as he sets out to clear modern dungeons with his skill book and his partner from another world. This could have easily have been an isekai, but instead they reversed the trope and now everything is happening in our world, which is pretty cool. I like that idea of tossing it up and having the dungeon and creatures happen on our world. And of course, the trope of having the underdog going in and trying to save the day isn't so bad, if you ask me. Finally, we're going to close out with another Seven Seas release, Easy Going Territory Defense by The Optimistic Lord, Volume 1. This manga is written by So Akaike and art by Maro Aoido. Van, the fourth son of a powerful noble, is only two years old when he remembers his past life as a salaryman in Japan. With his adult brain and a young body, he's considered a child prodigy until he displays the production magic skill when he turns eight. In a family that favors offensive magic, this crafting skill is considered useless in battle, and Van is banished to oversee a tiny country town in disgrace. With only his personal maid, his father's butler, and knight, a rescued Slave, the memories of his past life and his worthless magic can Van improve the fortunes of this little village and himself. Honestly, we've seen stories like this in the past where the heroes are reborn into another world with what is supposed to be a mediocre power, but it turns out to be pretty overpowered and gives them the advantage over everybody and they're able to construct a better life for themselves. I find it pretty funny that he has a lot going for. You got the maid, the butler, a knight, memories of his past life. Okay, go on. <laughs> Still, it looks pretty charming. I like the art and maybe this is something worth checking out. I don't know. What do you think? So there it is, folks, the most anticipated releases, in my opinion, for the month of January. Are you interested in any of these releases? Let me know in the comment section down below, and let's make this year a fun one. Thank you so much for joining. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. I do content like this, talking about all the manga releases, while I also review manga and show you my hauls and all that wonderful stuff. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video video.